The Notabom Redline series of scale models is always well packaged. This version of the six axle ballast trailer is shipped in a cardboard outer carton and the branded box actually refers to a slightly different version of the model and inside there's a polystyrene tray with a clear lid. There's no real information about the real trailer um, or any instructions for the model but it really is only in two parts which is the trailer uh, and the tractor unit and there's also um, a bag of uh, deck posts and these are used on the trailer. The Scania 8x4 tractor looks very smart and the lights on the roof are particularly good with the light bar and the lights above the windscreen and the door mirrors have an additional detail of indicator lights just below the mirror. Moving down there's uh, lights, there should be a number plate on the, on the model actually but the review version had a number plate missing and there you can see the small R730 badge. The equipment tower has really fine mesh on the sides and uh, this Redline model like all others has its own unique number which in this case is T020. A quick look underneath the tractor shows the chassis is very detailed, the suspension components are all modelled as is the transmission and you can see the gearbox there. Behind the cab the detail is great, in addition to the cold air lines the equipment tower is fully detailed inside with cables and tanks and it looks really pretty good. In terms of the features of the Scania, it uh, rolls very well in a straight line and if we look underneath, um, there's no suspension on any of the wheels and the front two axles have linked steering but the range of movement is, uh, as is often the case, is very limited and it's the rear wheels which foul the, the wheel arches and um, with even just a small turning angle it doesn't really want to roll smoothly. On the other hand, a feature which has been implemented very well is the tilting cab, which when tilted forward does stay tilted. And under the cab is a detailed plastic engine with uh, plenty of pipes and other details. Looking now at the trailer, the detailing is very good. The metal headboard has connectors for the airlines and there's a small graphic uh, warning sign as well. There are tiny tying points under the deck edge and the deck edge also has a yellow reflective stripe and some tiny graphics. The deck surface is very good. There's some metal diamond plating and the replica timber surface even has the screw holes um, indicated in the plastic. The detail underneath is very good with plenty of airlines and cables and the landing legs have nice smooth cylinders. And at the back the trailer axles are all fully detailed too. The features of the trailer are very good. Uh, first up the suspension works on all of the axles and the spring of each one is uh, separate and uh, works very well. And if we turn it over the steering is excellent too and you can see that the rear four axles are linked together and do steer in a proportional manner and also the first axle can also steer uh, to a small amount and therefore when you set the steering and push the trailer it really does track uh, the steering in an excellent way. So that's been uh, engineered and implemented really well. There's another feature on uh, Axle 1 of the trailer, which is that you can actually lock it out of service. And there's a tiny little clip just on the axle arrangement, which when you uh, flick that, then Axle 1 is slightly higher than the rest. And you can see that um, when you roll it, Axle 1 doesn't move. Another feature is that the two landing legs forward of the uh, first axle work you can um, unscrew them and when you do that um, you are left with a smooth cylinder um, which looks good rather than a, a screw thread and they, they extend far enough to be able to support the trailer and there's another detail um, which is implemented and works which is the opening spare tyre holder although strangely with this version of the model you don't actually get a spare tyre but um, no doubt you could buy suitable parts from the WSI parts shop an option you have on the model is to fit the metal deck posts if you want to. These are made of metal and they just plug into the various holes that are along the deck edges. And there's enough of them to, uh, to do both sides of the model and complete it. The fit of the posts um, into the deck is pretty good these days and so they don't wave about too much. And uh, they look quite effective when they're in. <music> The 
the last thing to do is to join the tractor and the trailer and the kingpin on the trailer just clips into place on the fifth wheel of the tractor and then they're nicely joined and can uh, work well together and if you want you could try and uh, join up the airlines if you've uh, got a bit of skill there um, you can also um, get quite a sharp angle between the trailer and the tractor on this model the ballast trailer is usually used to carry heavy weights associated with large mobile cranes so let's put some load on it um, firstly a 300 ton hook and then we're using um, some ballast weights from the Terex DMAG CC 8800 and we've got 10 weights to put on nominally I think 10 tons each so it's a 100 ton load on the trailer and when with that uh, in place um, it looks good and rolls well. This Scania tractor and Notabome ballast trailer are well detailed with some good features. Although there were a couple of minor quality issues on the review model, fully loaded up the trailer does look good. It would pose well with a suitable mobile crane and is highly recommended. <music>